Do you know what this means? have more babies clearly um, I'm going to be unpackaging some babies let me find my skizzers I'm going to be unpacking some babies this first one here is actually one from David from Erie Arachnids um, this is a heteroscrota maculata um, which I will be rehousing as well um, so anyway we're going to unpack this box hi Bella we're going to unpack this box and I'll show you guys what's in here and then I'm going to go make some, put some holes in some extra enclosures and we'll do some rehousing. So let's get on into what is in this box. I know what's in the box, but you guys do not know what's in the box. I've been waiting for so long for this package. It was too cold and so we could finally just ship it out and I'm so excited. Okay, have another layer of tape to go through. these spiders from Adam at Erickson Arachnids. He, or, or Erickson Exotics, sorry, I don't know why I said Arachnids. I'm thinking Eerie Arachnids with David. Anyway, um, I have been friends with him for a while. He has this really awesome business card with the um, Monocentropus balfouri and the Haplopel, or Hap, Hapolopus lavidium. Um, Anyway, he's really, really awesome. I will leave all of his information down in the description box if you want to order some spiders. Let's get into seeing what I ordered. Heat pack, nice and warm. Peanuts, peanuts, peanuts. More peanuts. Okay, let's move all these peanuts out of the way and get into this little package here. I don't know what just freaked my cat out. Okay. So these are all taped up. Let me get them untaped. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So the first one we're going to do is the Heteroscrota maculata or Heterosgodra maculata, which I will be rehousing in here. I'll get you guys a closer view. And fingers crossed that this goes well. Hopefully you can see this. Got my paintbrush. I've got a catch cup, which had crickets in it, so let me empty out these cricket stuff. Catch cup. And let's get to it. Okay. Here, here she is. Um, I'm going to take a few pictures of her real quick. And then we'll get her rehoused. a 
stick for everybody. Small stick until I can, you know, when it's warm outside can get some more sticks because I'm kind of out of sticks. But let me get some pictures of her. Okay. so well. All right, so she's all in her enclosure. Come on, feet down so you don't get squished. And all good to go. Now let's get into rehousing the other babies. All right guys, so in this other box of spiders that I got from Adam, I have, let's see, I have two T. gigas, which is the orange tree spider. I have a P or Erminia, which is the Venezuelan sun tiger. I have a P Cambridge. I have a C Famosus, which this one was a one that he had gifted to me. There are three in here that I didn't order that he gifted to me. Let's see. I have. Let me get everybody out, because the rest are in little straws. I have the one that started this entire order, which is the Gramostola Pulchra, which I did pre-order from him. I have the Hapalopus species Columbia Large. I have the I Hercetum. I have the I Mira, the Bluefoot Baboon. I have H Himalayana, a P Sazami, a Caribbean Diamond, two, ooh, two. Rocky Palma Alba Pelosum Nicaraguans. And then these two are surprise spiders, which we will see in a minute when we rehouse everybody. All right, so first let's rehouse the tree spiders, the arboreals. Um, we will rehouse the P. Erminia real quick. Let's get her a stick. We'll rehouse her. I'll get you guys a little bit closer. Let me grab my tweezers. I need the big tweezers. Where are my small tweezers? I don't know where I put my small tweezers. Oh, I thought I shoved them under here. That's fine. We got big tweezers. Okay. So, paint brush, big tweezers. I don't know. Let me see if I can close this window a little bit because it's a little bit bright. Okay, is that a little better? Yes. So this is the Pier Minia that we will be rehousing first. 
Do you see the toes? I see toes. I see toes. Come on, little gal. This is a suspected female P. Arminia. Not sure how nice or not nice she is going to be. There she is in all her beauty. I will be inserting pictures of everybody as well. Um, so let me just get a picture of her real quick. All right. Let's get her into her home. And she's running. Did you see that jump? Did you see that jump? Okay. So, go ahead and close the lid up on her. Put her... Oh. Do you see this? She's acting like a crazy maniac. We'll put her up on the shelf of other arboreal. All right, so next up we will do the two T gigas. Let me see. Yes, we will do the two T gigas. So. We'll do, we'll do the one first. Where are you at? One first. We'll put a stick in there. And let's get started with the tea gigas. Little babies. Little, little babies. Ooh. I see feet. I see little toes. Here is the T. Gigas. I'll insert pictures of her as well. And let's go ahead and where did I put my paintbrush? Let's go ahead and get her in here. Come on. Let me get a picture of her real quick. and get her come on no we need to go up Try and steal my paintbrush, please. Thank you. Let's put the lid on you. What a weird spider. She's so weird. Look at her. He did say he tried to set me up with like a male and a female, like a pair. Um, so that way if I wanted to breed them later on when they mature out, I can do that. Let me pack up some of the stuff. All right, next T Gigas. Can you guys see? Can you guys see? Put in a stick. That's actually too large of a stick. Ugh. And 
dipped and all the tea gigas out. A little baby, a little baby, little baby tree spider, a little baby orange tree spider. Oh, okay. Hi, little orange tree spider. Okay, I have an orange tree spider. Come on. This is not cool. Wonderful. Okay, I won't insert pictures of her since you've already seen pictures of the tree spider. She looks just like the other one. Just like the other one. Okay. Let's move forward. All right, last up is the P. Cambridge eye. Oh, it's a little toes. Look at how small she is. You're a tiny little bean. Let's get you out. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Calm down. You're okay. I'm gonna get a picture of her. If you saw the running, you were so cute. All right. Final one rehoused. Although, you know what? I might put her in something different because I'm gonna put her in one of these. Because she is kind of small and I'm afraid she's going to go through the holes. Give me a second. Alright, I'm actually going to put her in this so she still has a decent amount of room to climb. Okay. We've got her all housed up in here. like a mad lady but she is good to go next up oh, I'm gonna put this back because we don't need that all right so next spider all right next up we're going to do the C famosis which is the X Satan or black Satan I think is the common name. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh, he webbed up in there. You even webbed up your little vial. You silly. You silly, silly. Don't recommend doing this with your hands with a kind of vicious old world species, but you know. view of this. Come on. You're very vicious. Yeah, you are a vicious spider, huh? You think you are vicious? You try a bite? No. Go back in. You're fine. Go back in. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You need to go back in.
You need to go in there. Oh, look at you, you vicious spidey. You little vicious spidey spidey. What a vicious speed. Okay. I'm going to put you in there. Close them down. Close them down. Little vicious spidey spide. Little vicious spidey spide. Alright. Next up, we will do the I her set em. Let me try and get this broken a little bit. Okay. I her set em has a place to. Oh my goodness, look at how tiny she is. You are going to actually go in here, Bean. Look, she's webbing all over my fingers. Let's take a picture of you. Let's take a picture of you. Can I take a picture? What a cutie patootie. Okay, so finally I figured out a place to put her. I'm going to put her in this larger one that my dune scorpion came in from Jessica. Come on. Come on. No, come on. No, come on. No. Stop. You need to stop. Come on. Why are you giving me such a hard time? Okay. I got her in there. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of blurry. But anyway, she's in there. Alright, we are going to rehouse Mystery Spider. Who is the mystery spider? Who is the mystery spider? You little mystery spider. That's a Terranoclus cordatus. All right. So we have a Terranoclus cordatus. That was the smiley face mystery spider. Next spider we're going to do is the Himalayana. All right, Himalayana. Rehoused. All right, next we are going to do the Caribbean Diamond. can't really see what I'm doing. Come on. I'm actually going to push you out this way.
All right, and this is the Caribbean Diamond Spider. Which we will keep her straw with her so we know how to label her. All right, here is the Hopalopus species Columbia Large. I don't know how large I should make. I should have her enclosure. So I'm gonna just see how large she is when she comes out on my hand. She's large enough to go into this one here. She's about the size of maybe a little bit larger of my other Hapalopus species, Columbia large. So let me actually see if I can get a picture of her even though she's really small. I got a sort of picture of her. <laughs> okay. Can't see her very well, but that is my Hepalopus species, Columbia Large. I don't really need to label that one with the straw because there's not really anything else that looks like her. So, all right, next we're going to move into the P. Sazami, who is in here. If I can get her out. She will have a really nice bright blue coloring when she's older. Yeah, let's put you in here, little gal. Yeah, come here. It's okay, little gal. Come on. All right. Peace, as am I. All right. Let's do the eye Mira, whom I also have prepared one of these for because I believe that she's probably going to be pretty small too. And I am correct in that. The Aimura is the blue foot baboon. She has a little bit of darkness on her feet, so maybe by next molt. She'll have some blue feet for us. Like I said, I will be inserting pictures of all of these guys at the end. Alright guys, this is the Gramostola Pulchra, which is the one that, like I said, I pre-ordered and was so excited for. This is the one that I have been waiting for. And by the way, this one is the only one that I have so far with a name. So, if you have any cool name suggestions for any of the other spiders, comment down below. Oh, this one's big enough. You can go in here. You're big enough. Why are you freaking out? Grandma stole a polka. Her name is actually um, going to be Tiberius or Tibby for short. Um, but yeah, she is the only one that I have named so far. The Grandma Solopulchra is the Brazilian black, in case you were wondering. All 
All right, last but not least are the three Brachypelma albopolosum Nicaraguan species. So let's get these little buggers out. I need to cut the ends of this. Hey, come on, little guy. You can't be Roman. Come on. Come on. Okay. There's one. And two. I won't insert any pictures of these guys because they're so small, but um, I will insert a picture of what they'll look like when they're grown up. They are just extra curly, curly hairs. All right, so the two that are done and honed are these two. And last but not least, This one does not want to come out. Come on. All right. So, those three are all rehoused. All right, guys. So, just to kind of go over everybody again, these three tiny, tiny, tiny ones are my. Um, Brachypelma albopolosum species Nicaraguan and I have this gal here which is my Hapalopus species Columbia large I have the Gramostola pulchra the I herstetum which is an arboreal species. I will be doing care sheets or care videos on more of these species coming up soon. Um, I do have the P. sazami here. This one here is the I. Mira, the blue foot baboon. I have the Pteranoclus cordatus, maybe because I have one here and one from Jessica, maybe that means I'll have a pair someday and I can breed. I do have the H. Himalayana, whom is already starting to burrow and dig on this side here. I have the Caribbean Diamond who literally is digging like a dog right now. The Caribbean Diamond Tarantula. The T species UI. I have, where'd you go? This here, which is the P. Cambridgei, or Cambridgei, however you pronounce it. 
this here, which is the X Satan Black, the C Famosus. I have the two T Gigas, the orange tree spiders, um, which I'm hoping he said he kind of ventrally sexed, um, and he tried to pair me up with one female, one male. So I'm kind of hoping that I will be able to do a breeding project with them at some point. I have the P. Erminia, which he said is a suspected female. He sent me a ventral shot. Um, I agree, probably female, because um, he was out of the small P. Erminias. So I paid a couple extra dollars to have that one there. And last but not least is the Heteroscrota Maculata that I got from David at Erie Arachnids. So all together, if you did your math right, I have 17 new spiders. Um, that puts me at, I, I don't even remember the total, um, but I will be doing an updated, um, an updated collection tour as well to kind of go through all of my species. Um, the reason I don't do a lot of collection tours, which a lot of people like me to do collection tours, the reason I don't do a lot of collection tours is because to me it's not a matter of who has the most spiders. Um, I love my spiders. I collect spiders clearly. Um, also, by the way, my snake is up here um, trying to pretend like she is arboreal. She's not arboreal. Also, it's a she now, not a he. Oh, someone's calling me. Sorry, um, my doctor called. Anyway, um, what I was saying was, to me, it's not a matter of who has the most spiders. It's, I, I like these spiders. I like to have a couple different species. A couple more than a couple. Um, but, and, oh, no, what I was saying is my snake is not a boy, so his name is not Darwin anymore. It is a girl, and her name is Calliope. I sexed her the other day. I also fed her today. I haven't touched her or held her for a week. Um... So I fed her today, she ate, she's happy. Now she's up in the corner pretending that she is an arboreal snake. She is not an arboreal snake, she is a terrestrial snake. Anyway, her name is Calliope, she's cute. Um, anyway, so yes, I have a lot of spiders. Clearly I have a lot of spiders, but I want this to be my job. I am going back to school in a couple of years. Um, I, I don't have the money to go back right now. I was in college. Um, I didn't have the money to finish, so I dropped out. Um, that was a couple years ago. I now do not have the money to go back, but when I do go back, I am planning on going back for entomology and possibly getting a zoology entomology degree. Um, this is something that I want to dedicate my entire life to. I don't recommend getting animals if you're not willing to take care of them. If it's not something that you have time to do. I also have a full-time job but when I come home I dedicate my entire nights and mornings before I go to work to making sure all of my spiders and my snake have water to make sure that my millipedes my scorpions everybody is fed I make sure that my cockroaches have fresh food I literally do everything that I can to make sure that all of my animals are taken care of and so I will have a collection tour coming up, um, but please don't take that as a way of who has the most spiders, as a competition. Um, so yeah, I will be doing that soon, um, and I'll probably just re-explain all of this in that video. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I don't have any of them except for one named currently. Um, and so if you have any really cool name suggestions for the spiders, please, please, please put them down in the description or in the comments below. Um, I will take any name suggestions that I can into consideration. So if you do have a really cool name, put it down. You might just get picked and I'll shout you out for naming one of my spiders. Um, so yeah, put your name suggestions down in the comments. I will have Adam at Erickson Exotics. I will have his information down in the description box below. I'll have his Instagram down in the description box, um, which is where he runs most of his sales off of. Um, so yeah, um, I'll also have David's channel linked down in, in the description box from Erie Arachnids. 
for hooking me up with this heteroscrota maculata, who we're not sure is male or female, but I have three of them now, three H max, so I'm really hoping that one of them ends up being female and I could possibly breed some. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of this arachnid madness. Bye guys! Mwah. Don't forget to subscribe.